Hey everyone, alright so here's what happened. We did another episode and once again the game crashed and it corrupted the video and it also corrupted the save game so we have to start a new game. So that's what we are doing here. I just made a new pirate and we're starting all over. Um, and hopefully the game won't crash this time and I'll lose yet another video. But crashes are getting a little old. Um, but I still want to keep trying the game. Alright, so we're going to be Right now, we're just going to be fighting smugglers, taking smugglers out. Not really going to get into any political intrigue. But before I do that, I want to go here and upgrade my... Okay, so we'll go to the shipwright. And I've got room for six upgrades. Of course, it's also a matter of money. I do want this upgrade for max speed and maneuverability. I also want one more upgrade, which will be the powder boxes for some faster reloading. All right. And then I also very quickly want to purchase a gun for myself. Uh, these are all fairly expensive, but it's going to be worth it. So we'll go with the flintlock pistol. And a large bag of heavy bullets. So we're going to put the sea and go after some smugglers. Of course, as you can see here in our party, we've got the one ship, and then we've got plenty of fighting men. We've got 40. So right now we're doing all right. Now this is a two-ship fleet, so we might not want to mess with that one. Now that's 54, and this is seven picaroons, and they have two ships. They keep exploring. Again, I'm looking for just a single ship right now because I only have one ship. That's two. Now this is one ship. It's Corsairs, so they're a little bit tougher than just your average smuggler, but and we've lost sight of them anyway. Yeah, they're running from me. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them. So I'll go... I won't go any further than this line right here. Yeah, they're taking us way too far out. But there's usually a pretty good selection of smugglers around here. Alright, so this has one ship. It's a war brig, though. This has two. You know what? What the hell? Let's go after them. I don't care if they have two damn ships. Alright, one ship against two. Engage them like a moron. Renown value is six. So we're probably going to get our ass kicked. And yes, it's dark. So it's relatively tough to see. Now we've got bow cannons, and you see the target somehow is in range. Let's take a shot. So it clearly was not in range. But apparently the game enjoys lying to us. I'm going to keep heading straight at them, and I'm going to shoot again as soon as they're reloaded. Oh man, we missed just to the left. Hopefully we can get them reloaded again in time for one more shot. And there's our chain shot over there to try and... There we go. Alright, so here's where things are going to get tricky. Okay, those shots, I don't even know where they went. We're getting shot from all over the place. And we're preparing a mine. And we can hit them right here. And we're going to try and board them. Oh, we're not close enough to board. Shit. Right, where's that other ship? It's right there. Hurry up and reload. God damn it. Still waiting to reload. There we go. Right. 
All right, so we're going to end up getting our ass kicked if we keep this up much longer because they've got more firepower because there's two ships. So I need to board because I'm getting shot up pretty good here. I mean, I've done a little bit of damage to these ships, but not much. Really not much. So again, let's go after this ship and try and board this one. Alright, we'll use our bow cannon real quick. Just like that. Alright. Let's attempt a boarding. There we go. We're going to command from the stern. We have 53 troops versus their 8, so we should be alright, but you... Alright, so we got the pistol ready. Look at this bastard. Damn it, I missed him. He's uh, too far away for me to be effective against with a pistol. Oh, that's stupid. The pistol is obviously better at short range. You need a long gun if you want to take longer range shots like I was trying. I can't see the enemy. Alright, for God's sake, move. Move! Now this is a problem with these ships. Oh, you piece of shit. And they're all dead anyway. Okay, whatever. Alright, so we didn't take any casualties or anything. We'll take all of that. Ooh, tobacco. Now we don't have a lot of cargo hold space, but we're taking that tobacco. And we'll take some timber. And then we're going to scuttle the captured vessel. I don't want it. And when you scuttle it, a bunch of shit will fall out like the, what they're carrying will fall out into the ocean and you can pick it up. So in other words, scuttle means we're going to sink it. Ooh, I've reached level 2. And see, there's shit floating around. If we move over it, we'll pick it up. See, we got some grain and some ropes. Now, we don't have a lot of room, of course, in our hold. Ooh, I got a piece from on that one. But I still wanted to loot it. And I don't want to take a second ship. Well, I might take this one as a second ship, actually, once we're done. I've kind of fucked it up. So it's not the best idea. Like, I should have just boarded it without shooting it up if I wanted to take the ship. But we can repair it. 51 versus 8. Alright, switching back to our pistol. I just want one good shot, please. My men are handling things pretty easily. I can't shoot this guy for some reason. He kept getting so close that my gun was, like, deactivating. I don't know what the hell that was. So they must be up in the crow's nest. Let's see. As usual, I've got no one to shoot. You can see I've got some men up there. i got men in all the crow's nests. Alright, and we're done. And I was completely ineffectual, just like last time. But we didn't have any casualties. Um, let's see. To be honest... Some more tobacco would be good to sell, but... Eh, let's keep these ropes. We're not going to take any of that. Okay. So, let's add that to our fleet. We don't want to make it our flag, our flagship at all, because the one I've got is my flagship. But we will add it to the fleet. So we got six renown. We got some money. We got a bunch of experience. As you can see, my character leveled up. We're going to go ahead and give him a little more intelligence for our seafaring type of stuff. Um... I want, this is better maneuverability, this is faster reloading and increases the damage on naval combat, and navigation, this is our movement speed in general. Let's go with, let's go with combat. Oh, we have another one. And looting. Because that will prove to be important. All right, very cool. And then here in our party, so you see we've got, this is our flagship, and then now we've got the Garland, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a captain. I don't know who that guy is, but he is the captain. 
And you can see we can repair at C a certain bit. Um, so we'll do that. But we should also take it to a shipwright, obviously, to get it really looked at. All right, cool. Some of your ships are heavily damaged. Yeah, I know. Uh, what we'll do is we'll... We'll actually go to Santo Domingo to check it out, I think. All right, go to the shipwright once again. All right, so as you can see, it's actually going to going to cost more to repair the ship than it is to sell it. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Going to be a really expensive repair. Uh, that would also almost break me. We're going to sell it. Uh, I just sold my flagship. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> So I sold my flagship, so all we have is this little piece of shit now. So we'll repair that. We'll put this upgrade on it. And then we'll leave. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. Like a fucking genius, I just sold my flagship accidentally instead of the little piece of shit that I just bought. I should have known something was up with the prices. Uh, but yeah, so if you like to see stupid-ass moves like that, you're going to love the rest of the series. Just let me tell you that ahead of time. Um, Alright, so we'll go ahead and end this episode right here. In the next episode, we'll try and figure out what the fuck we're going to do now that we sold our own our flagship. <laughs> Alright, so see you next time for some more Blood and Gold Caribbean.